This is your Inside Iwakuni New Strike. Marine Wing Support Squadron 171's motor transportation has two sides, maintenance and operations. Lance Corporal Amy Douglas went to the operations side to bring you the story. MWSS 171's motor transportation operators have a hand in everything on Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni. Their responsibilities include bringing cargo to the flight line and food to the chow halls while maintaining their vehicles. Motor T here on Iwakuni, we have uh, so many licenses that uh, we need to help operate, get the uh, ordinance or cargo or anything place to place and a truck breaks down, a P-19 or anything on the flight line, it needs to get towed away. So we have wreckers to operators that can do that. The maintainers from motor transportation perform vehicle repairs, whereas the operators provide preventive maintenance checks and other small operations to vehicles in the motor pool to keep them deployment ready. Trucks are deployed here and there from our station, so we need to make sure those trucks are up and running. We got to communicate with them, so we just got to make sure everything's good. Motor transportation can deploy all over the world because they're useful to most missions. Motor T lets you travel a lot from anywhere from Australia as a bus driver to ITEX, which is in uh, 29 Palms for pre-deployment, to Korea, where I just came back from, just uh, operating for supplies or for chow, which uh, the troops needed in the field. MWSS 171's motor transportation operators continue to support the air station mission with three deployments scheduled this summer. Lance Corporal Amy Douglas, Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni, Japan. MWSS 171's Motor T will travel to Hawaii, 29 Palms, and Australia by September 2013. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to AFN Prime Channel Pacific and Atlantic for more news from around your community with your Inside Iwakuni news update.